What's up, Guardians? I'm back after a long break away from making content here on YouTube, but I have been making content over on my Instagram and TikTok if you would like to check out the content I make over on those platforms the links will be down in the description below. So in today's video I have for you a Solar Titan build that will make your Titan Maul super like a Celestial Nighthawk Golden Guy. This build will include survivability, massive damage, melee damage increase, and an overall orb generator. So to show you how this build works, I will be showing you how well the appear is, how much damage this can do to our good buddy Carl, and to higher tier altars of silo bosses. This build could also be used in endgame content as well, in any activity you desire. So let's break down how to use this build, or the game loot to get the full use of this build. First, throw your hammer to make yourself radiant, then second, pop your super when you have it, and deal damage. Third, to gain your super back, and we'll use your mini hammer to generate orbs of power. Fourth, you can use your consecration for a clear, or for extra damage to a boss. The build loop is pretty straightforward, but you will eventually get the hang of it. Before we continue, I want to point out that this build doesn't require any seasonal artifact mods, and you are able to use any grenade for this build. Lastly, for this build, I would suggest using a solar weapon to make the build more efficient. Alright, let's hop into what makes this build what you would want to add to your loadout. So for our super we will be using Burning Maul, for our barricade we will be using Rally Barricade, for our melee we will be using Throwing Hammer, and for Grenade. Personally I like using Solar Grenade, for our aspects we are using Consecration and Sol Invictus to increase our survivability. For our fragments we are using Ember of Empyrean, Ember of Silas, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Resolve. For our mods, we will be using times one ashes to assets, times one hands-on, and times one kinetic siphon. For the gauntlets, we are using times one momentum transfer, times one grenade kickstart, times one heavy-handed. For our chest mods, we will be using times three charged-up mods. For our legging mods, we will be using times one solar surge, times one recuperation, and times one innovation. For our class item, we will be using times one distribution, times one bomber, and times one powerful attraction. That pretty much sums up the build in this video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm glad to be back making content and I have so many other builds videos in the near future. Thank you to all of you guys who support my channel. Thank you for continuing to support the channel and also supporting the content I make over on Instagram and TikTok. It really means a lot and I can't express how much I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll catch you guys in the next one.